with me in studio is movie critic, Fandango correspondent, one of our real moms, Tara McNamara. Hey, girl. Hi, thanks for All having right. me. Before the break, we asked this question. This actor appeared in two of the top 10 films in 2015. Was it Chris Pratt, Jeremy Renner, or Sandra Bullock? Tara, what's the answer? Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner. What was he in? He had two films. He was in Mission Impossible Rogue yeah. Nation and Avengers Age of Ultron. Ah, and, yes. And then he'll be back in May as Hawkeye, again with the Avengers in um, Captain America Civil War. And now they've announced Mission Impossible 6 is coming I'm out. exhausted. So he's very busy. He's a very uh, busy, successful guy. Star Wars The Force Awakens obliterated every opening weekend record in movie history. It wasn't just the number one movie here. It broke records in markets all across the world. So this is the one thing we all have. The world all has Star Wars. I have to ask you, there are rumors about Justin Bieber being cast in The Expendables 4. Yes! Is that true? What oh, role? We need what? someone it's to stir the tea. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know what? Anything is bam, possible. Bam. Bam. Yo, <laughs> disregard these two sarcastic <laughs> little jokes. You never I know. was excited I about it. He's a nice young man. Yeah. He, he might put a beating on all of us. We don't know. <laughs> That's Tara McNamara of ThatWasSomething.com. She usually reviews movies, but sure knows how to talk up the Expendables 3 newbie, Kelsey Grammer, who just became a new dad. So first of all, we have to start out by saying, Congratulations on the birth of Gabriel. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. He's a good kid. He's almost sleeping through the night already, which we're very happy about. We're keeping that very quiet. <laughs> oh. And at this point, are you a master at installing the car seat? You know? <laughs> I actually am. Yeah, I'm in almost any vehicle, any any brand. I'm very good at that. So this movie has so many relatable moments to parents. What parts were most relatable to you? A baby without a diaper mm -hmm. um, is like the most a time bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Fandango family film mom Tara McNamara will tell us all about it. How do you know what's well, right? PG-13 is the enigma for parents right. because you have movies like The Avengers where you're like, oh, that's fine. Yeah, you know? yeah. And then you have The Dark Knight where you're like, oh my gosh, I yeah. can't believe I took my kid to see this movie. Film insider Tara McNamara says the Golden Globe Awards celebrate personal triumphs. Remember Batman? Who doesn't love a comeback? This role had to be written with him in mind and with his participation to give that performance. So do you have any master builders in your home? Uh, they all, you know what, they all like to kind of do their own thing. Um, you know, but that's the, that's the beauty of, of Lego is that it's, uh, it doesn't matter what the age group is. And even if you're an adult, you can, it's so funny where you start to help your kids <laughs> build something and the next thing you know you're pushing them out of the way and, <laughs> and then, okay let me finish this one part for you okay i want to get right into this chair because last year the winner at the holiday box office was the lego movie this is a little different <laughs> a little than bit. the lego movie but i'm hearing that they can actually break that record it made what 62 million dollars last year is it going to make more 50 shades of gray well some estimates are putting it at 95 million dollars wow. for an opening but we at fandango have talked to the studio and that number looks more like 50 to 60 million dollars um and then and, you know, no matter what, it's the highest selling R-rated movie in Fandango history. All right, let's break it down geographically. Tara, what parts of the country are you seeing with the most ticket sales? Let me break out the 50 states of gray map here. <laughs> and what's interesting is Mississippi has sold nearly four times the average tickets than anyone expected. Wow. Mm -hmm. What is happening in Mississippi? Not Mississippi. 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 <laughs> I'm Tara McNamara, and your Mom's Movie Minute starts right now. So you don't need to have read a Goosebumps book to enjoy the film, but it is incredibly rewarding for Goosebumps fans, and the joy is in recognizing the characters from the book series. Jack Black, he delivers, kids love him, but the real question here is, how scary is it? Well, the books are intended for kids ages 8 to 12, and if they can handle the books, they can handle the movie. It is a monster movie, and the most unsettling monster is the villain, a ventriloquist dummy who does not need a hand in his back. He's a creeper. <laughs> so Donna, Dr. Romney, Tara, do movies like this cause anxiety in children? Yeah, I mean, I think that it, they can. Our roundtable discussing the question, is the good dinosaur good for your kids? Movie insider Fandango's Tara McNamara, psychologist Dr. Romney Dravosala, and parenting reporter Donna Tatro. From a film perspective, you have to kill off a parent so that the kid can go on a journey. Almost every Disney or Pixar movie has a lead character die. There's gotta be something to see on that big screen. So that's why movies like Transformers do so well. 
75% of our ticket buyers at Fandango were looking forward to a heartfelt big love story. We have a lot of moms interested in seeing the movie, interested in seeing the movie with their daughter. Also, we have teen boys who are interested in this romantic drama as well. I think that there's just something about her and her personality and her style that just connects. Social media is more important than ever. If your film stinks, Word is going to spread like wildfire all over the internet and by Saturday of opening weekend, it's over. However, if there's good word of mouth, then a film can really take off. Come on!